Hey guys, this is Joe Matalone, and today we're going to take a look at routing in AngularJS. Uh, this is how you can create a single page application. Uh, so right here I've got a basic HTML file. Uh, I brought in some Bootstrap just to make things look a little better. And of course I've got Angular. And then I've also got this file called data.js, which I generated at philtext.com. And it's just a list of people's first name, last name, telephone number, and so on. So what we're going to make real quick is just a... Uh, a table view with all the people's names and uh, their phone number let's say and then you can click on the person's name and get uh, you know the address information or whatever else uh, we have in there so what we're gonna do just to get started here uh, is create our script if I could type alright we're gonna create our module our app uh, angular dot module app so there's our app uh, into that we're not going to inject anything but we are going to jump up here and wire up our app so app now uh, here in the body what we're going to do is we're going to wrap a view in a controller uh, the view is where we can load uh, bits and pieces of HTML along with controllers if we need to we're going to wrap it in a controller itself so that whatever's in that view can access the scope of the parent uh, controller. So div, and we'll say ng, oops, ng controller, and we're gonna call that directory controller, and inside of that, we're gonna drop our ng view, oh, let's say div, and uh, ng view. Okay, so, uh, Let's create the controllers first. So a controller, and that's the directory controller. And in that, we are going to inject a scope, and we're also going to inject the HTTP module so that we can uh, use that to get the uh, the data. So function, let's see, scope and HTTP, and okay, so. When we call that, what do we want to do? We want to get that data, so dot get, and that's data.js. And then, oops, no. On the success of that, we're going to get that data, call it data, and then we're going to assign that to a variable called people in our scope, so scope.people equals data. All right. Um, so that's our, our first controller, basically. And uh, now what we can do right in between there is let's set up our basic routing. Uh, so what we're gonna do is use the config section of the app. And into that, uh, we do need to inject something called route provider. Now once we're in there, we can use the route provider to set up all our rules uh, for uh, for, for routing basically so uh, the way that syntax works is when and then uh, you tell it the path and in this case let's say it's the root path and then you basically pass it an object that can have um, a template or a template URL it can also have its own controller in this case we're already wrapped in the directory controller so what we're going to do is just pass it a template URL of and we haven't created this yet, but let's just say we're going to have a directory called partials. Whoop, partials. And we're going to call this directory. Whoa, .html. So there's our first path. Um, and basically, that's just the root path. And then what we're going to say is when, and uh, this will make a little more sense in a moment, we're going to say view, which is going to be our, our other controller to view the. Uh, uh, details of a user and to that we're going to pass a parameter and we're going to call that ID so when we want to view it we're going to need to go to the path slash view slash the ID of that person basically and into that whoop, we're going to pass well, a template URL which will do uh, same as before partials and we'll call it view.html and here we're also going to pass in a controller uh, and we'll just call that view controller. So let's go ahead and let's set up our directory first. So let's create a new folder uh, called partials. Oops. Partials. Okay. And into that we will create a new file called directory.html. 
and we'll also create a new file called view.html. Now into our directory HTML, all we need to do is set up uh, like a table view. Uh, so here we go. So a table, we'll throw in a little uh, bootstrap for that. And then let's have a T head, TR, TH, it's gonna be a name, and phone. Now into our T body, what we're gonna do is uh, drop in a repeater. So TR, we're gonna say ng repeat, and that's gonna be person in people, which is what we named our variable of the data that we got. And now here, we're gonna say person dot, I think it was F name, and L name. And then in the next one, we'll say person dot tell. So let's see if we can just take a look at that so that we're uh, up to speed. I mean, we're writing a lot of code here and you're not really seeing the results of it. So I think we're okay. I can see that it, uh, you know, it, it, we haven't created this view controller yet. So let's go ahead and make that really quick. And so it's gonna be view controller. And uh, into that, we are gonna inject the scope. So there's our controller. We're not really doing anything with it yet, but it exists. So we shouldn't get an error on that. Let's go ahead and load this up. Okay, so we've got this list of people and their phone numbers that we're getting directly from our data. Now that is our root thing, our root uh, directory, our, our home page. Uh, one thing that's kind of important here on the routing is you do want to throw in an otherwise. And uh, basically what that says is if it's anything other than the things I've defined, send it somewhere or do this. And I'm just gonna say redirect to, oh, to, that is not how you spell redirect to, uh, the uh, root directory. And still I can't spell redirect, redirect to. Okay, uh, so I think that's good now. And again, we've got our page there. Uh, it looks a little ugly, I'm gonna just kind of clean it up a little bit. Uh, dip dot container, dip dot main, and we'll drop everything inside of that. And I think that'll make it look a little better. Uh, let me just kind of push these things around. Let's look at our directory here, and we're gonna give that a class of table. Okay, so let's reload that really quick. And now we've got a nicer looking table here. We've got the first and last name, we've got the phone number. Now what we wanna do is we wanna be able to click on this person's name and get that additional information, the address and whatnot. So to do that, what we need to do is get over here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap this in a link. Uh, and our href in this case is gonna be forward slash pound, forward slash view, forward slash. And what we're gonna tap into here is the index value. So. Uh, every time it cycles through this, Angular automatically has an index for the array that it's cycling through. So we're just gonna use that as the ID. Now there are methods in the config and the route provider to do what's called HTML5 mode, where you won't have that pound symbol. I'm not gonna cover that right now. Uh, I'm just gonna use this kind of statically. So now if I refresh this, uh, each one of these is a link and you can see down well if I click on it it's taken me to the correct address but we haven't set that up yet so uh, we need to set that up now all right so back to our uh, application so here's this view controller module that we set up and what we're gonna do is say uh, scope dot person equals and again remember because we're wrapped in that directory controller we can access its data so equals scope dot people and then we're just going to pass in that index and so to get that index out of the url to get this index right here this id is what we're actually passing in that's what we called it in our code to get that what we need to do is inject what's called route params uh, or the route params module so route params okay and then what we're going to do is just get that value of params.id, which is what we called it here. If we had called this index, we would call it index here. 
we called it ID, so we call it ID here. So now we've got this singular object that we've called person, and we've gotten that out of the scope.people. Uh, so now what we can do is set up our view. So let's just start off nice and simple and say uh, person.fname and person.lname. Okay, so there's our, our partial view uh, coming from our data. Here's our index. We're looking good. So when we get to this page now, it should create this person object, which will populate the view.html partial. Refresh here, and we got this bed eye boomer, whoever that is. You know what? I'm going to throw a little link up here. Uh, we'll say that it's just going to go back to the root directory. We'll call that back to people. And we'll give that a little CSS here. And we'll throw an HR. That should work. All right, so let's refresh this whole thing. And Betty Boomer, we got this back to people. Okay, cool. So we're on track. So let's drop down here and we'll do uh, person.tel. So we got their telephone number. We'll throw in another HR. And then we'll just do, uh, so we've got their address information. So let's do uh, person.address. We are uh, person dot city comma state space zip. Oh. Okay, so let's see how that looks. Refresh this whole thing, and uh, so we'll click on our person, and we've got that person's full name, their phone number, their address information. We can go back to people, and. Uh, we can just keep moving around. And all this is happening in on the same page, essentially. It's not reloading anything. So if we look at what resources we're loading, let's go ahead and refresh this. And we can see we loaded the HTML. That's this local host right here. We got our bootstrap, our Angular, our data, and we've got this directory.html. Now, when we click on this, you can see we did not reload everything. We just added to it that view.html. We go back to people. Now we're not reloading anything. And uh, so it's, 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 I mean, it's a single page app, even though we do have URLs changing and we've got the screens changing, it's a single page application. Uh, so there you go. That's the basics of routing with AngularJS. Uh, there's a lot more you can do here. Maybe we'll cover some more advanced things, but this is, this is the gist of it. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a good one.